All right, people, I'm at a Southern California knife freaking maker spot. You guys don't, I don't, don't alarm you. We might do a little B&E on this, so stick with me. Hey, how's everybody doing? Another cash conscious room from Flippin' Bean. Uh, today we're also going to cover another man's knife. We're going to cover the Aardvark. The Aardvark. Alright, now, the Aardvark is a different version of their isosceles. It's a very, you know, worn cliffy style blade. It's about a quarter inch longer than their isosceles. Skeletonized handles. Uh, got an open back... Uh, freaking backspacer over here so you can kind of aesthetically pleasing as well it's got the pocket clip uh, right side freaking tip up carry only uh, two thumb studs so it's ambidextrous if you need to carry in the other pocket in the in the left hand configuration uh, it's up to you the signature ellipsis freaking pivots and this that are trademark. Uh, these are AUS8. It's a frame lock. 420J steel on that. Phosphor runs washers, as in all the other ones. It's uh, an aggressive looking knife for aggressive looking cutting tasks. Uh, great for box cutting, great for um, small tasks. You have the serrations right here and a swedge. So it's almost elongated enough to where it starts creating a curve on its own. So I mean, for for you know a cheaper version of a more cash conscious version for small call carry, it's got that ability. It's got that nice pommel. Uh, there is no lanyard hole. I mean, you could in theory turn one of these holes into a lanyard hole if you needed to, but I, would, I mean, it really doesn't need one. So I mean, it's it's smooth. This one's straight out the box. I mean. It's real simple. It's real straightforward. It's it's real. It's gonna cut. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna do damage on things. It's, it just begs for you to wanna slice things open. Uh, so I mean, look into them. They're they're a great price. Uh, I'll put down all the information below to help you out. Um, like I said, cash concert for a reason. The great reason I love these is like I said before, the no bullshit guarantee. You can break this, you'll get a new one. You send it back with the issues, you get a new one. If you have any issues with there, they will go out of their way to help you out. And their customer service is only ran by two people, two to three people at most. So you're not handling a call center. You're not handling um, somebody who's trying to get you out of getting a knife for free or fixing your knife because you've already paid for the product. You're paying, it's more or less the peace of mind. This is like a smaller knife, you know, not that big. I mean, shoot if legal hand size that I mean it's perfect for real small great cutting tasks it's gonna do it's gonna do damage on everything you touch uh, it's gonna cut it's gonna bite it's gonna do those tasks that you normally wouldn't want to put pressure on but because of the fact the matter is you need something that's not gonna fail on you these are these are the tools that I would put on put money on you know they're not there are issues with certain people and certain venues and certain forms. And, and not everybody's going to like the same things, and that's understood. So, I mean, just look into them. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. Um, I do not work for their company. Apparently, I've heard a couple rumors here that are people thinking I work for their company. I do not. I help them out from time to time. I've, uh, you know... I'm more than happy to help out anybody from time to time. So look into them and uh, look forward to seeing, you know, new stuff come from them. They also have a new Balasong Crambit coming out. They also, first production Balasong Crambit. 
Um, they have several other, they have a larger fixed rabbit coming out. They have other tools that are about to come out. So look forward to seeing more stuff from them uh, coming down the line and all their tools, no matter how expensive or how cheap. And mind you, their most expensive knife is right now about 220 to 40. That's the most expensive. Everything else is below that. It's more of a, more of a, think of it like a white collar man's price. So look into them. Thank you.